Namaste my YouTube family. This is Aga with Tree of Life Spiritual Coaching where I make magic happen for you. And uh, today's episode will be a continuation of um, the subject that I touched upon uh, recently, which is um, vibrations and frequency and uh, um, how to increase your um, vibrational level and why it is important. So I mentioned in the first video that um, your frequency is your signature. Basically, everything that we put into you, our body, the thoughts we emanate, the intentions, creates a, a, a signature, a wavelength that communicates with everything in the world about the state of um, us, uh, what is happening inside, our emotions, our feelings, state of our body, all those things are sending messages everywhere. And based off of that message, uh, people react to us or we attract certain types of people. So if you're feeling um, vibration low, meaning that you might be sad, um, you don't have energy, you have anxiety attacks or depression, you're taking pills or you're heavily depending on substances like coffee, alcohol, cigarettes, um, um, weed, anything else that you can think of or prescription drugs for that matter. Uh, not just for depression but other things for sleep um, and for any diseases that you might be dealing with. Um, I have several um, tools that I want to share with you. Uh, some are related to the body, some not, uh, that will help you raise your vibrations. Um, so let's start with detox and why people do not sense anything or they feel completely numb and, and they say that people like me who are uh, healers, shamans, uh, are hawks, you know, hoxes, and we don't know what we're doing, we're completely delusional. Uh, what happens is, you know, the reason why you are not sensing yourself um, internally is because of layers of toxins that you build up in your body. Um, so, the first thing you want to do if you want to raise your vibrations is to detox. Detox, detox, detox daily. This is something I cannot emphasize enough. Um, I have my own ways to detox. I'm going to share some of the things with you today. And um, these, these things are very simple as well. And feel free to pick few things that you think will work for you best. You don't have to do everything. But this stuff really works. And, um, you know, I will be 39 years old in human years um, next month in June, June 7th. So actually, um, you can see that my complexion is clean. I'm very happy. I'm not uh, sick at all. I don't get sick at all. Maybe sometimes I need to rest more if I'm doing more activities or I'm around sick people, let's say. But uh, my immune system is very strong and I make sure that I detox daily. What do I do when I wake up? You know, I drink a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with filtered water. Uh, one big glass or two glasses, however many you want. This speeds up your metabolism, helps your organs um, uh, cleanse after the night. Um, you know, your body is working at night, uh, digesting, cleansing, detoxifying. You want to help all this stuff to come out on the other side. So that's something that you want to use. Also, what I've been using heavily is lemon juice. Oftentimes, first thing in the morning, before I even do this uh, apple cider vinegar, I just squeeze lemon juice and drink raw lemon juice on empty stomach. That stuff uh, works wonders. It's even better than this. So if you want really glowy skin, if you want to lose weight, if you want to speed up your metabolism, you definitely want to uh, include lemon in your daily detox practice. You can do two, three lemons a day. You can even just do one, but do it religiously. If you repeat this process daily, and any of those things I'm going to share with you, I guarantee you will feel a lot better um, in couple weeks less than a month um, so what do I do next right uh, as far as detoxes if you are meat eater or if you um, eat lots of processed food that contain you know um, high glucose uh, high fructose syrup or sweeteners that are artificial or any processed food like white rice or white pasta or white bread you definitely are not giving giving yourself good service so uh, let's say you know 
you want to switch to a better version. Add brown rice to your diet. Um, eliminate gluten, eat bread. That is whole uh, grain bread made from millet or amaranth um, to make sure that you help your digestive system work better. You also want to add probiotic to your diet. This is this is a really really good uh, supplement, friendly bacteria for your gut. Right, that's something that is a part of my daily existence has been for many many years i got this probiotic on vitacost and i mentioned that company before um here is a name if you still need to write it down and this thing will help your digestion especially if you're a meat eater again or if you are um, eating processed food i highly encourage you start eliminating this from your diet because the reason why you're not feeling yourself you're sluggish you don't feel vibrations your body again is clogged with uh, poisonous substances so that will help bre break this apart another thing that i use daily it's chlorella okay so we need our leafy uh, greens and our green support in our diet every single day so in addition to eating you know some salads uh, leafy greens you want to detox your system so this is very good for uh, detoxing from heavy metals also it's a very good liver support so it detoxes your liver so if you've been maybe drinking and um, feeling depressed or you've been eating uh, lots of animal products that's very very heavy on your liver this will help detox it so you want to take up to 15 couplets daily this is basically algae it's like a sea vegetable and it's packed with vitamin a c thiamine vitamin k riboflavin niacin um, it has some proteins too, vitamin B6, B12, iron, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, and virtually zero calories. So this stuff is one of your best friends as well. Another thing that um, I started using uh, regularly lately is a beautiful, beautiful supplement uh, called Mukuna. Okay, this bad boy is um, virtually um, you know a, a miracle for me in a sense that I have discovered um, lately and I've been adding to my um, chocolate pudding you can add it to your smoothies you can add it to uh, water and I'm gonna read to you some uh, benefits of Mukuna right if you want to research that yourself there's a bunch of information so the, a lot of stuff that i use in general you know that has connection with ayurvedic medicine uh, ancient indian way of living and they use lots of um plants that are helping um, us stay on the top level of health, performance, things like that, without relying on things like coffee, like stimulants, like drugs uh, for energy or for any other reason. So some of the things that you can expect from uh, Mukuna. It builds fertility in men, increases uh, semen volume, sperm count, and sperm um, uh, motility, battle, uh, double up boys, They're very potent in increasing libido for both men and women. So if your sex drive is really low, this thing can definitely help you connect with your sensuality, with your sacral chakra right here. We are talking about removing toxins so you can start sensing yourself, who you are sensing on in a gut level you're gonna have that sense of knowing what is your life purpose what are you supposed to do and interestingly enough it's really all connected with your body because your body will communicate with your mind so once you support your body you will start receiving these insights instantly and will be like your daily way to live um so from the body to the mind right uh, what else um, do we have here? It's very good for building muscles. So if you are into fitness and you want to build uh, lean, long muscles um, and have a quicker recovery time, that is also recommended for bodybuilders. For women, if you have a little cellulite you'd like to get rid of, that also helps with um, reducing cellulite. 
So hey, um, this stuff is not very expensive at all. I think I paid less than eight dollars for it, and you know I use just a couple spoons a day. So this is really not, um, you know, something that you have to replace even every month, depending maybe how active you are. Uh, what else do we have here? Treats depression, right? Because um, believe it or not, uh, Mukuna has an ingredient called L-Dopa that helps release dopamine, produce dopamine in your system. So if you add this to your diet and you're feeling low, depressed, um, this will help uh, increase your mood. Hey, that's pretty incredible to me, right? We all take that. We want to feel high and, uh, you know, uh, pump up the volume of fun in our lives without, you know, going into a club, taking drugs, uh, drinking alcohol. You can feel like you're, you know, high on your vibrations every day. This is like my daily that makes you think of like, hey, maybe I can feel this way as well. Treats insomnia and generally um, deep and sleep. So I can definitely testify to that. I'm pretty good sleeper, um, but Sometimes around a full moon, I have a difficulty sleeping. So if you want to add this to water before you go to sleep and drink maybe one or two, add baby, basically add one or two tablespoons, uh, small, not too big, to a glass of water and drink it. That will help your sleep, definitely. Um, help di helps digestion. Uh, and uh, helps women increase lactation when breastfeeding. Um, so, and I didn't even touch upon other things that Mukuna is used for, like treating Parkinson's disease, because it helps regenerate your brain. Um, please research that. There's, there's like virtually, I don't know, more than 50 benefits from this beautiful plant. It looks like a bean, and so this one is dried and powdered. That's how I get it. You can get it in capsules too, but I like to make drinks with it. That's why I got it in a powder form. Uh, another thing about detoxing, right? How do you want to um, help your system? I daily recommend. I recommend daily that you consume a little bit of raw ginger. You chewy. Uh, if you cannot do daily, do it. You know, every other day. It is intense in flavor at the beginning. However, in time, you'll get used to it. It really helps um, increase your immune system. Again, very much detoxifier. Uh, helps your metabolism. Again, helps you lose weight. Um, so we all want to eat, you know, and enjoy food. And uh, eating the right food makes you basically um, a machine for burning calories. Um, so you can consume a lot, burn a lot. Everything is great. You're happy. You know, your stomach is happy. And uh, you don't have to sacrifice uh, your appetite. Uh, another thing that I'm using too is a turmeric root. I don't know um, if every store carries it. I would go to Whole Foods or like any health store. Sometimes, I mean, I live in San Francisco. I went to, uh, I think, Chinese store and they had turmeric root. So it, it has a little, you know, orange color. It looks a little bit like a bag. It's like this and you can buy a bag of it. And I would eat half of it daily. I just finished mine, so I don't have it to show you, but turmeric root is also fantastic for detox. So here we have our daily, you know, dosage of um, detoxifiers, right? And then how to mix Mekumukuna best for best results. I would create a drink. Um, I'm a big, big fan of raw cacao, another superfood that is fantastic for energy, for mood, helps you remove caffeine from your system. Again, caffeine is also something that you don't want to consume uh, in law, law, uh, large quantities if you want to raise your vibrations. Why? Because... Caffeine is a stimulant that is not natural to your system. It makes you use energy um, essentially that you don't have. So once you're off of caffeine, you're crashing. So this is not the best way to stimulate your system. If you want to stimulate yourself when you wake up, you want to have some raw cacao with mukuna, add some uh, raw honey to it, okay, and uh, organic raw honey. Here we go, maybe some vanilla, some almond milk, make a drink, enjoy. This will give you energy, this will give you positivity. Um, 
you definitely will not miss your coffee and this stuff tastes amazing I sometimes would add a vanilla to it vanilla extract and um, I would um, basically create very flavorful drink um, that will help me uh, satisfy my taste buds because I love great food I'm big time foodist and I want the best stuff so uh, you know, I've done my my research and that's how I create magic in my kitchen that really really makes me feel like I am a superwoman which I am and so are you um, so this is um, a little bit um, on the food side right um, what else helps uh, you know, increase the vibrations, raise your vibrations. Well, you're watching this video, so you're already watching a content on YouTube that is high vibrational value. So if you're sp gonna spend a lot of time on the internet every day, right, or a long time, devote at least 10, 15 minutes, maybe more, to high vibrational content. Listen to speakers, uh, to healers, um, to people that create positive um, content in the internet and um, put that information into your system let it help you choose something that will resonate with you and and do that implement that in your life right even if you feel sluggish none of it you know makes sense to you just do the work because your intention is going to always be focused on something right uh, so you know, focus you on 90% of being negative, but the 10% of your time daily, focus on something that will actually create uh, different results in your life. Um, so I invite you to do that. Another very proven way to raise your vibration is help someone every single day. Um, do a selfless service. You can do countless things. You can help a neighbor move. You can uh, help all elderly people across the street. Look for things every day that you can uh, do for others. It's been proven over and over again that going outside of ourselves and doing something for others daily uh, increases the level of happiness uh, in ourselves. I live in San Francisco. There's a lot of homeless people. So good way for me to give a service is to give food. I usually have some food with me when I walk down the streets. I give food, sometimes clothes, whatever I have, you know. I will share money as well. Um, and that should help you get out of your darker zone, raise your vibrations instantly. Um, and uh, before I finish, okay, I wanted to share with you a, a poem that my friend uh, Emily sent to me. She said that she was inspired by me and uh, she shared this beautiful poem that is related to food, in, in fact. Um, you know, I talk about food, how food is important, you know, I don't starve myself. I eat like a pig, uh, in fact, sometimes, but all my food is... Um, Local quality is not processed. Um, lots of complex carbs, right? Lots of fruits, lots of quinoa, lots of legumes, superfoods, things like that. Uh, I just don't eat processed stuff, processed sugar. I very rarely drink alcohol. Every few months, if I, you know, uh, toss someone, but I feel repulsed towards it. And if you do the detox process, you will also experience that that you will uh, not be able to consume things that you used to like um, anymore uh, including you know alcohol and um, chocolate or things like that uh, that we use to numb ourselves um, so yeah um, my motto is carb up it's lot it lots of um, complex carbs including plantains and here i come to this uh, grand finale uh in the form of a poem a plantain a gift for aga Furtak by emily wire something about the starch of a plantain takes me away from my landlocked self and becomes me to sandy places i yearn sweet and savory collide golden bright dark forbidden i yearn for surrender a breath blessed desire sate me with a simple decadence of plantain <laughs> and how beautifully i actually cooked some plantains last night so here i'm gonna have a plantain with my mukuna hot chocolate drink 
Cheers. I would like to toast all of you guys and um, wish you a high vibrational journey. Let me know if this video was helpful at all. If you have any comments, if you think that you could benefit from it, please share, subscribe, spread the love. That's another thing that you can do to help others, right? Selfless service. If you think that someone needs that information, feel free to share. Feel free to uh, experiment. Let me know how you feel. I encourage you really, really, really to start taking care of yourself. Also, I have a workshop coming up at the end of this month, May 29th. In fact, it's Sunday from 11 to 2 p.m. in San Francisco. If you would like more information, please email me. Mm. The workshop will last three hours from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It costs $70 if you register by May 15th. After that, it's $75. So it's very reasonably priced and you will spend some time with me. We'll work on blockages, belief systems. We'll also have some fun. So I look forward to seeing everyone again. Cheers to your high vibrational state. I'll leave you with um, love, peace, joy, and I welcome questions, comments, and see you next time in the Aga Magic Land. Bye.